I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. There are some issues that cropped up today in this country. One of them is the trial of Namdi Kano. Now, I want to say that um, Tinibu inherited a very, very terrible corrupt system from Buhari, who we had thought that he would mitigate the corruption that came from Good Luck Jonathan, that came from as far back as the history of this country. But Buhari made things worse. Now, one of the issues that led to agitations in different segments of this country was insecurity by headsmen who are predominantly Fulanese and who the people perceived were being favored by the Buhari administration. Because people were carrying grenade launchers, shooting anti-aircraft machine guns, parading with army uniforms, killing people, nothing was done to them. When the government wanted to act, bandits in the north who were Islamic extremists were to be reintegrated, were to be integrated into an army that they had killed. And then people before then, people started agitating for the security of their own people, including the Yorubas. Namdi Kanu came from the east. Don't forget that people like Asari Dokubo were also agitating in the south south. Asari Dokubo, till very recently, will display ammunition openly. What then happened? Now the Kanu's residence was invaded and he escaped for his dear life. Then he was kidnapped from Kenya against his will and brought to Nigeria. Meanwhile, bandits were meeting with governors. We are meeting with negotiators like Gumi. Meanwhile, a kidnapper that was arrested, whose arrest led to the death of policemen, has not been brought to court. Namdi Kanu was brought to court and has been in court, granted bail, rearrested, and all that. I must commend President Tinibu for something. Since he came into power, a lot of the bandits, terrorists, kidnappers, like the last one that was killed in Kaduna, have, have started feeling the heat. Apparently, their protector has gone. And the recent achievements of the security forces in Abuja is commendable. But Tinibu has a lot in his hands and he needs, he needs calmness and focus to handle the more pressing issues. Let me quickly say this if I forget. No man wants to leave a country that protects his interests. No man want to leave a, wants to leave a country that is favorable to him. No man wants to leave a country that defends his rights. No man wants to leave a country where he can flourish. The promise go on made of reconciliation, reconstruction, and one other arrow has not been fulfilled. In the minds of the Easterners, they still perceive that they are seen as enemies of the country. And so, Inside the heart of every young Igbo man, there is this sense of not belonging, not being accepted, 
not being integrated but seen as a threat. So even if you incarcerate Nam the Kano, you can't remove that from their hearts. So what Tinibu needs to do is to have a clean slate to work on. Nam the Kano inherited that problem. Grant him amnesty. Grant him amnesty. After all, people like Ogboro that planned coup were granted amnesty and they came back to this country. Grant Nam the Kano amnesty. If you are afraid of his popularity, he has two passports, a British passport and a Nigerian passport. Take him back to Kenya that arrested him or put him in a flight back to the UK. Give him that he's going to re reunite with his family or give an excuse that he's going for medical treatment. And then this agitation, this every Monday no market and all that will quiet him down. And once the Igbo man starts to do his business very well, and if the governor start to develop the East, we must not fail to blame the governors in the East. Look at what OT is commissioning today, an electricity plant, independent electric power plant connected to the national um, trunk of um, the gas, of gas. If the East, if a bar exists, has regular power supply and the industries are working and the people are happy, agitation will reduce. Look at what he's doing in Port Harcourt Road. I, I lived in Abba for 15 years. Look at what he's doing in Port Harcourt Road. That road has been bad. A whole area, Urata Road, axis flooded and houses built where St. Kelvin's Hospital used to be, all of them waterlogged. Obuda area, if he is able to reclaim that area, do that road well, the people will be happy. If the governors in the east can make the citizenry feel governors, there will be no agitation. Look at Ebony State, what Umahi did there. If you pass there at night, you won't believe you are in Nigeria. So the governors in the east have not done well. So, free Unam Dikanu. There is another man, El Zazaki. I don't know if he's still in prison. Give him amnesty. Give him chance to go for treatment overseas. Let him stay there for some time. We will now have peace. You can now settle down and build the economy from scratch if you have the willpower and you have the interest of this country. You don't start fighting, trying to off a cigarette that is outside your house while your house is on fire. I think that the president of this country as at now should concentrate on the economy and rebuilding the economy, not Namdi Kanu, not Igbo, not El Zazaki. Let him start with a clean straight, uh, slate. Let him start with a clean slate. And like as I said in my previous video, the Nigerian Labour Congress, you have become too monotonous. Strike, protest. It has not solved anything in this country. Let's sit down, Nigerian Labour Congress, call a national dialogue on how to move the economy forward. Call, the, call people, let's talk. Let's take some decisions. And then let's know how to take this country and crack the foundation down and rebuild it and then have a stable economy. The president of Argentina, in a few months he has taken over, cut down the size of government, did a lot of things, fought corruption. Argentina is up and coming up again. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey. Subscribe to this channel. I have an online training seminar on real estate coming up on the 9th of March by 7 p.m. The attendance fee is 10,000 Naira. If you send a message on WhatsApp to plus 234-7052-136763, you will get a flyer that will show you how to pay for it. This is a time to think and act in this country and to use. See, by wisdom is a house built. By understanding it is established. Through knowledge, his rooms are filled with rare and precious ornaments. All these prayer, prayer, prayer meetings.
They won't take us anywhere. God bless you.